Right. Uh, hi, this is the release video of uh, Gisela. Yeah, it's kept the name Gisela. I don't know. I didn't bother to change it and it's kind of grown on me. So, what is this? This is a rifle thing. You can of course also uh, take out the, the stock. It's, it's free pins and you can run it without stock if you so wish. But I like the stock for priming against my shoulder. Pretty nice. Um, well, in the beginning it was a single shot breech loader, so when you prime it, this breech here opens, which allows you to take one dart out of the dart storage I added there. The dart storage is a clip, so you can take it off and put it back on the other way, or just don't use it at all. Um, and yeah, then you push the slide back forward, and you can give out one shot. Um, there's a couple different versions. This one is for the single shot bolt action, non-mag fit. Um, it has little notches here if you print the wrong version. Um, that's the only difference in um, those parts. So you can just file the notch off if you so wish. That'll then work. So don't worry too much about that. If you have the notch, just get rid of it. Yeah, that's one version, um, single shot, short barrel. Um, I've also made a long barrel. If you have elastic, that's not as stretchy, so then it'll be about this long, more like rifle size. Um, but yeah, this is the very basic bolt action, not much to do wrong here. Then we have the more Advanced bolt action, which is this one. Also, the muzzle insert is, of course, optional. It uses a you push it in through the front, twist it around, and then secure that uh, whole muzzle plate, and then it stays firmly in place. Yeah, this is the second version. It replaces the um, the breech with a magwell. It's a skinny pusher in there, as with almost all. Uh, stringers you can get away with that you don't need an air seal or anything i added the dart storage for reason unknown to me but yeah you push that in up there and then you can just keep shooting i've added um, offset sights for this so it feels kind of like one of those funny guns from uh, Battlefield 1 or something, you know, with the World War 1 stuff where the mag was on top for some reason. With, I don't know, the, the Madsen MG, I think it was. But yeah, it, it looks supremely cool like that, in my opinion. Pretty alien, pretty wonky. Um, also, it's not a very traditional uh, firearm shape, so probably fairly safe to use. So. Right, that's the bolt action number two. Um, then let's move on to the thing most people will be printing. Uh, lever action. I've also added flip up sights onto this one. Pretty nice. Um, yeah, things to note, uh, you should really print this as sturdily as possible. So I'm using like eight walls. So, um, this is kind of a weak spot down here, so you want this to be as sturdy as possible. I don't know how I could have handled that otherwise. Um, it's already printed flat, so the layer lines should be reinforcing that already. But yeah, you um, brace that against your shoulder, and then you can load it like that. Then it works just like the other one, breech loader. And yeah, pretty simple. Also. Works pretty reliably. It's also not that hard of a time, so I can keep doing that. Um, you may want some wrap on that if you plan to use this uh, fourth version, yes. um, which also has the the breach here, not breach the mag well. So let's put in a mag. So yeah, you can of course also have a. Magfit, top loading, lever action, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. But yeah, I also made an offset rail, also included, side of course not included, what's also included is this 
um, foregrip, and of course the offset sides from this thing. Yeah, um, that is pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I've put all of them into like different categories, like one is lever action, one is bolt action, and then you have a magfed subfolder in there, because the magfed thing is pretty much only this. And if you wish um, uh, different sliding bars, because those have a little cam track that actuates the, uh, the breech. And if you have that in a, in a magwell, that means if I load, the magwell will violently fling back and forth, including the mag, um, which adds a lot of like grit. So when you're priming with, uh, with your lever and you suddenly start hitting the part where the cam track moves, that you're kind of punching a wall all the time and that's, oh damn, I double loaded. Still works. That's nice. Um, so yeah, I went for extra slides that don't have that. You can of course do that if you like the style points of your mag wiggling like that. I don't know about that. So yeah, that's that. I I hope you enjoy. I certainly enjoyed building these. I. I have even more of them over here. There's, there's so many prototypes of this. Um, I even have another one in the other room that totals six prototypes of a fully rifle shaped blaster. That's yeah, <laughs> getting kind of expensive there. But yeah, I hope you enjoy. And also looks cool without a foregrip. Kind of like a fish. So yeah, I hope you like it. Files are, of course, available in the description on Etsy. Um, assembly guide, also on YouTube. Probably uploaded just before this video here. And yes, if you have any questions or whatever, just reach out on Etsy or on YouTube or whatever. I'll probably read it at some point and maybe even answer. Goodbye.